Euro 2024 fantasy is here. So in this video, I'll be looking at the group stages, best players to target and my squad. But before we start, make sure to subscribe because it's free and it helps me out a lot. And make sure you join my Euro 2024 mini league. League details are now on screen. On to the group stages where the groups of death are probably Group B, containing Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania. And then a distant second, we have Group D with Poland, Netherlands, France and Austria. The teams abandoned in easy groups are probably England in Group C, and then Portugal in Group F and Belgium in Group E. But of course, we also want to prioritise the elite players from the elite nations. On to my squad, where in goal I have Bart Verbruggen, who's fairly cheap and will be starting every game for the Netherlands. And I've got a very cheap backup keeper who I know is not going to start. I've selected Kunde, Teo Hernandez and Di Marco. They're all full-backs, so they could get a spontaneous amount of goal involvements. Antonio Rudiger, a very solid centre-back, then a cheap defender to balance out the money. On to midfield, I have a starting three of Bellingham, Florian Wirtz and Fernandez. They're all impeccable for their nations, especially Fernandez and Bellingham. Jorginho, I could start. He might not play every game for Italy, but he's a fairly decent bench option as well. Then another cheap midfielder to prioritise the attack of Lukaku, Kane and Mbappe. Three players who are insane when they play for their nation. But then a question I'd like to raise is, is it worth getting Cristiano Ronaldo? He is in the Portuguese squad. We'll have to see how it goes, but he started several games for Portugal and done decent. For me, I'm going to wait it out and see how well he does. If he does well, then he might switch with Lukaku. Join my league and tell me how your squads are going in the comments.